Welcome to Catchy Cartoons. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a cute bear. So let's get started. First we start by drawing simple geometrical shapes and forms to determine our cute bear's proportions and pose. Starting with the head, we'll sketch in a rough circle. Then we'll add a center and eye line to use as a placemat for the face. I place the eyes on or just above the eye line and the nose just below through the center line. We'll give him a big oval nose to go along with his big button eyes, a big gentle smile, his muzzle, and little ears. And now we see our cute bear start to come to life. For the body, we'll rough in an oval about the same size as his head. I like to have my cute characters to be two and a half to four heads tall, a center line to show where his body's facing, short stubby legs with little feet to accentuate the cute factor. We'll give him a bit of a shrug as we block in his shoulders and arms. The arm should taper out by his hands to give him big bear mitts to grow into. And of course he needs a little tail, his fingers and toes. And now our cute bear has been blocked in and is ready to be refined in the tie down stage. The tie down stage is where you start to bring your drawing to life by building onto these simple shapes and forms as you adjust and define with a more committed line. I'll make those eyes a touch bigger. Adding tone to the eyes helps to define them. Give the brow some definition. Thicken up the nose. I'm going to add a bit more mass to the left side of his muzzle by making it a touch rounder. This will make the shape more interesting. Give his smile a little crook to accentuate his expression. We'll adjust the shape of his head by giving him thick furry cheeks and wispy fur on the top of his head. A little definition to his chin. Remember to stay loose. We're still searching for the right shapes and forms. We'll make his ears smaller as we sketch in the fur. Now on to his body. Since he's holding his arms out in front of his body and has a slight left to right bias, we'll draw the left shoulder in front of his head as we accentuate his shrug, make his pose stronger, and adding more dimension to the drawing. We'll start defining his body and thinking about the bottom of his belly. His legs are looking a little thin, so we'll thicken them up. This will make his legs look stubbier and his feet look smaller, all adding to the cute factor. A slight adjustment to the left foot. And onto the other leg. We'll make his bum a bit bigger and a fairly straight line for his back. This straight line will define his posture and it makes our little bear look like he has a bit of a pot belly as the straight back is in contrast to his round tummy. A little definition to his fingers, and he could use some toenails. The second tie down pass is when we start to polish our shapes and forms and to define the line. It's best to stay fairly loose as we're still searching for the right shape, especially for the face. We want that little crook in his smile to be just right. We'll touch up his furry cheeks, refine the fur on the top of his head, be sure to make his ears nice and furry, and on to his arms. Tighten up your drawing as we move along his shoulder and down his back. We really want to define his little shrug and his posture. Now I've jumped to the end of the tie down stage and I'd like you to take note on how this cute bear's shapes and forms are clearly defined. 
His little tail is furry. He has stubby little legs and small feet. And how the bottom of his tummy runs up his body, emphasizing his little pot belly. We'll just darken his eyes and add some tone to his nose. And this cute bear is ready for cleanup. Since our cute bear is simple in design, we're going to give him a thick bull line with some thins. The thick and thins will give the line some life. During the cleanup process, I'm always looking to refine my drawing, such as making the eyes bigger and rounder, a subtle change to his head by making the cheeks wider, a nice thin line for the fur on top of his head, Simplifying the fur. I'm taking more care with his facial elements because I don't want to lose any of his expression. You'll also get some happy accidents during this cleanup stage. Like the hint of the fur by his bottom, the subtle arch to his back, a thick line for his big bare mitts, and taper it down to a thin line by his shoulder. This will keep the image clean. Round off the bottom of the tummy to accentuate his pot belly. Keep his little tail fluffy, which adds to the cute factor. Finishing off with his nails. Now that our cute bear has been cleaned up, it's time to add some color. Just for fun, I'm going to color our little bear green. You can color him green as well, or just have fun and experiment with the colors. We'll give him a darker color for his nose so it stands out, and a lighter color for his muzzle, so we can clearly see his mouth. There you go, one cute bear finished. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more catchy cartoon videos, please click on the subscribe button. Click the bell button to be notified of my next video, Please share this video and leave a comment. And send me your drawing of this cute bear. You might see it in an upcoming Catchy Cartoons video. Thanks for watching.